you up this morning, that's my fault. Uh, we've got one of our old blokes on. Luke is going to be on with me today. Um, we'll get him on here. We'll have a chat to him. We'll see what he's been doing since we last spoke. What? Oh, my hat. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Push pull. We know the boys. Make sure you look after them. Push pull. They are really good. They've got some really good socks coming out. They've got some other stuff going on. They are doing a lot. So let's get our friend on here. Uh, yep, make sure you follow them. Like I said, socks and masks for push pull. We're doing some stuff with them. Doing so well. They're selling out. Make sure you look after them. Luke A. What time do you call this? 12 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. You know who's going to watch this? Me and you, buddy. Me and you. Because everyone. Me and you, that's it. okay. That's who we get everyone to watch, gets this. To watch <laughs> it. Yeah. Yeah, not bad. Busy. Yeah, me too. I'm sorry. I had a meeting and I thought it was going to finish and then it never finished. And anyway. Gucci! Yeah, Gucci. There he is. Proud. Look at the camera. What's been happening, mate? I thought you might have a big stash for me to have a look at. Uh, yeah, well, I haven't. Wow, I haven't been on anything for so long. Um, and I've been so busy. Um, well, now that we've had some COVID perpetrators up here in sunny Queensland sneaking oh, across mate. the border, and um, worry <laughs> a little bit of a tidbit about that actually. And I have spoken to Queensland Health and been cleared, but they were at a restaurant on Sunday that I was at on Tuesday. Oh, so technically oh, speaking, yeah, that's right. So, but. Queensland Health has assured me that unless I was actually there when they were there, that I'll be okay, but who knows? So uh, watch this space. They've been everywhere, um, man, those two. They, they got up to a bit. I like how they're well, naming and changing yeah. now. Let's just name and change people, eh? Yeah, I know. They are. Uh, um, I guess they're 19, so they're classified as adults, so we can just plaster them all over the place. So but tell can... me who else is going to want to come forward. Didn't they? Did you see the thing this morning? They did... Um door knocks around here people are supposed to be isolating and it was more than yeah. 29 people who weren't home <laughs> oh really oops <laughs> yeah it is a it is a bit shit isn't it like people just because it, it's like yesterday morning that that news broke about lunchtime yeah and yesterday morning i was at my dad's house and he's old and he can't breathe for shit and this has nothing to do with sneakers but no one's watching anyway paulie so who really cares anyway regardless um yes. yeah fingers crossed for that i really don't want to get the air con in the um in the thing but um anyway um okay so let me see i this is what i've this is what i've done since the last time we did an update so i'll just go through wow. very quickly uh, are you ready? No, I don't have I, enough time. I want you Let's to go. comment. <laughs> I want you to comment on everything as they go across. So, um, fire. great fives. These are fire. Yeah, the sole's pretty cool. We've got a couple of pairs in the house. There's actually a pair uh, for sale if someone wants some. But, um, what size? In 12. Ooh, hello. What price? Uh, $330 is the uh, requested uh, payment for those oh, particular shoes. Nice. I like it. Yeah. They're, beautiful. Um, They're actually really good. They're not bad. Um, unfortunately, they've got that little uh, issue on the back, which we're not always a huge fan of. But um, talk about yeah, yeah. Um, no, but I yeah, they're pretty nice, and they smell they smell delicious. So they actually arrived, which is a minor miracle because they came in a box that literally said "Nikes" in this box, and the driver of the courier van had like a Kobe statue on his dashboard. So there was a fairly good chance that um, if he wanted my grapes, he could have had them. Um, we might have we have to talk about our uh, sting operation one other day, our gum tree sting yeah. operation one other day. <laughs> yeah, because my top three is never uh, materialized. Yeah. Um, these are um, Jordan 12s. Now, 12s. these are nice shoes in principle, but in reality, um, not the best Jordans ever made. They've they've got some quality issues. Yeah, Less I'm said not about them sold better. On 12s. There are elevens we'd be talking, twelves and not sold on. Yeah, look, I, I do I look I do like them because of the, the reference to the games and the magnificent yep. acts that were performed in the twelves. And yep. they are still okay but not really uh, all they cracked up to be. Um these the the latest um these are ones. They're mids, so apparently I can't boast about them because they're only mids. Who says um, this, Joel? I've been told that this is not uh, this is not something that hot boys want to be. Uh, this is they're good. I like thing. those. They're nice. 
I thought they were quite mature they're and nice. everything. I like the colour. Yeah. I think they're actually cool. And oh, what's really. best is I've done my patented modification and put expensive shoelaces oh, on them. Oh, that's right. You've made them. <laughs> You've made yep. them. People are going to go, oh, what are these? You're going to go, they're custom. It's custom. Yeah, they're just, that's it. And There's to reinforce off. the fact, I had the other pair um, with that's another big. pair of uh, shoelaces. Uh, back you can, uh, there you go. Yep. Well, uh, these are... Isn't that the shadow, the shadow back backboards? Cord? No, they're the shadow backboards, poor cousin. Oh, so I okay. think, yeah, because again, because they're mids, shadow backboards have got the same colours but in a different combination and are worth a ton more. But, shattered, you know, these are in, is low too. I've got a shadow backboard and a low cut one. Yeah, yours are worth more money, I think. Oh, wow. I think. I don't, I don't know about ones. I don't know about ones. Um, uh, I don't know if these. I brought these along because I don't know if they made the tape last time. But they just um, these I wear when I'm not when I'm feeling a little bit under undersized because they got a three inch lift. So um, <laughs> yeah, so they're probably the cheapest, most least desirable pair of um, seven twenty colorways you can get. But um, I don't mind that colorway. I don't. The, the clear plastic is the thing I don't like. But I like the. I don't mind it. That's okay. They just have a bit of a jelly bean vibe going. I'm yeah. struggling to find places to wear them, but anyway, that's nothing unique. Give them to and someone in Melbourne, Melbourne, mate. They don't have nowhere to wear them anyway. <laughs> and last but not least is um, these um, new Prestos, Presto 2s or whatever they're called. And yeah. these are um, really nice. I am Thanks still, like these, yeah, I'm deeply regretting the um, untimely demise of the last two pair of Presto ones that I had, <laughs> yes. um, what with the lawn mowing and whatnot. But these, um, hopefully, these have find a better ending uh, to their career. So um, yeah, that's what's been happening. And of course, I've got the um, the special, uh, highly anticipated pair coming uh, from Nike. And if they turn up, I'll be crazy and I'll do a, like a full uh, a full, full deal on them because they're an interesting thing. So what do you got going over there? I've got something to show you. I actually pulled out unworn. So, you know, we talked about uh, with Greg, one of the episodes, we talked about something that Greg liked to buy and Joel said he liked them. That's Remember not true. These? Oh, no, not these again. <laughs> the Jordan Pass 270s, the lows. These are actually I'm, pretty cool. Oh, these no, are the first actually, out of the box. Hmm? Yeah, no, the low is okay. How much did they cost, Paulie? Uh, these were 180 I think I might have picked these up for. They're on mm. special. They're on special. Mm. That's probably yeah. 180 too much. But yeah, okay. I, like, I like the back. I actually don't mind no, them. No, I think out of all of them, they're the ones that less, yeah. that they less look like a a a, a drunk five, yeah, but yeah, in yeah. the low, and and because they stand by them by themselves, yep. they look fine. Right. Yeah, I think they're, they're pretty cool. They got the yeah. four. They're, they're really definitely between a four and a five. They're almost a four and a half. Already. They've got some elements in them, but in the low, they don't look like they're an imitation Jordan. They just look like something by themselves. And I, I actually, I got to say, I don't. I I would wear those. I actually look, quite like them. I know the bottom. The bottom's got the cool little. Yeah, yeah, the jump man. They're not bad. Yeah. I don't mind them at all. They've got the two seventy little. Chunky, like this is another one you were talking about. That's why I smile. Look at that. That's, that's yeah, a that's a good three inches, mate. They're actually heavy. Yeah. They surprised me how heavy they are. But that's yeah, the, I pulled those out of the wardrobe. I thought I'd have a look at them. I hadn't actually seen them, and I know Joel loves them, so we thought we'd get them on and talk about them because Joel loves them. Um, yeah, they're not bad. They come up okay. I don't know where I'm going to wear them, but I brought them. Um, we did talk about joyrides yesterday that you love. Look, they're still standing yeah. sitting here. <laughs> yeah, you. They don't. They're really they, good. No, they them. they are really good. They don't um the buying the the reason you buy Joyride is because the little balls and stuff underneath them, but then unfortunately yeah. you wear them a couple of times and then it doesn't look so hot. No, that that's what I noticed these wore really quickly, right? Yeah, I but, I had the same problem. Yeah, and especially at the front, it's because of the colorway and the anyway. But these like I said, these are eighty bucks. Uh they're nice and cheap. Yeah. But yeah, so I like the Jordan Mars, I'm not sure if I wear them. I've got them now. Um, I like some of yours. You've got some really nice stuff there. You've done some. And, and then stuff. what? Whatever happened? To, have you been? Have you worn those? Um, those uh, Lunar Force uh, that I sent down there. Have you managed to break those out of the box? Or are uh, they still? Yes, I do have. I'm just trying to think when I wore them. Yes, I have worn them. I was trying to think when I don't remember. They're really, they're really, they're really nice. They're they're really good. Yep. And then yep. the 
What happened to the saga of the um, size 11 and a half um, PGs? Very they good. Still... They fit really well. The Jordan 4s, the metallics, fit actually really nicely as an 11 and a half. Yeah, but what, the... what about the PG 4s? Oh, the PG 4s. Uh, I wore them twice. They're too tight. I'm gonna, I just got to keep wearing them around the house. I think Max is about to inherit them, but with COVID, he's not here anymore, so he's not. he doesn't get to inherit anything at the moment. He's oh, right. in okay. isolation at his mum's house, so... He could have had it, um, but he's not here, so he doesn't get them. Oh, I see. Because, because we're not so heavily, uh, apart yes. from the recent events, yep. because we're not so heavily isolated up here, um, I've started playing basketball. Yeah, and the last said, two, good. Yeah, and the last two games I've worn a different colorway of the, um, the PG4s, and they are really, really a good fit to play in, but uh, they're a little bit aggressive. If you want to buy a shoe to wear anywhere but, for an hour, they're yep. just too... T they're too tight a fit. They're, they're exactly what you want when you're playing hoops because they're tight. But i got to wear thin socks in a yeah. 12. And so there's no way I'd be able to get into an 11 and a half. It just... Yeah. It's interesting, work. isn't it? It's, they should actually talk about that. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be a true to size. It should be a small for size, right? Yeah, but why? But why? But why are PGs as... You know, they're just another Nike sneaker. Like a, a, a 12 yeah, and a Durant isn't like that. So why is a PG... Um, maybe it's so maybe goddamn it's, close. I don't know. I don't know. But even my NASA, my PG NASA's do the same thing after a while. Like they're very, they're, I've got a 12 in those and they're fine. But after a while, you can feel it on the, um, on the bridge of your foot. If you yeah. To, I've worn them out a couple of times because they're silver and they look cool. After yeah. a while, you can just feel them in your feet. But yeah, knows? understood. Um, Everything else has been good, mate? Yeah, look, um, it's a crazy, uh, as the, um, Instagram handle there goes it's crazy times for the new car concierge. The market is nuts. There's not enough cars and there's too many buyers because people have realized that if you can't go on holidays and you can't really go around too much, you should just waste your money on expensive cars. So, um, or shoes, that, or cars and yeah, shoes. that's <laughs> it. So yeah, those that that's been going, um, quite nuts, but it's, it's really weird. It's like stock exchange at the moment. I can't work out whether or not things are up or down or back to front. Um, all over the place. But no, everyone's, everyone's, you know, moderately healthy and uh, yeah. just minding our business and carrying on. And, um, you know, it's uh, waiting on, waiting on boxes. That's what we spend a lot of time doing, waiting on boxes. I, I've got some 13 metallic 13s the orange metallics is yours i've got them yep. in a size 13 i'm probably not going to wear them in a 13 so if somebody wants them there you go hit me up let's get them out there let's get them out there we'll get them through freddy yeah. um hey let's do a recap of what we had so i had the mars 270s yes just so we brought him out have a look at them they're not bad like we said i think this is probably the best of the lot yes the colorway is good the colorway. yes we like the bottom we love the bottom and now yes. let's look at some of the fire Luke had. Luke had some really good pairs. Let's check through these again. Hang on. I'm going to turn the camera. Um, uh, here we go. All right. So look, grape, grape fives, uh, 12s, which has a name which only Joel would know. Um, that's the cheap section over there on the, uh, on the washing <laughs> basket. Um, but Prestos are a good get. I wouldn't really recommend anyone run out and buy 720s, but Prestos are a good get. Um, and, uh, those are the ones and my little driving simulator thing, but those are the, uh, the ones over there. So the only ones, you know, so uh, yeah, in you know, summary, have you seen the Presto, have you seen the new Presto, the Australia color Presto? No, I'm not familiar. Yeah. They got Australian, yeah. it's very, it looks very Boganish. Mr. Tom Hirsch was loving them. He tried to talk to me about them. So, and Tom Shepard actually got a pair. So really? Tommy Shepard who we've had on here before. Yeah. Uh, fashion -ish stuff. So yeah, they looked okay. I don't know. They look. It's very. They're all green with the star on them. They're an Olympic. They use them for the Olympics. Ah, uh, because we were supposed to have the Olympics and then not so much. Yeah, I think they probably produced them all. But now they're going. Yeah. Hey, we're just releasing these because we, we're going to give these to the Olympians, and now everyone else can have them. So yeah, so they're. You out. know, that's interesting. I wonder if there's like some super limited, unreleased. Olympic colorway like LeBrons and stuff that are never going to see the light of day, and then May is going to end up with them in three years, and they're going yeah, to be worth ten thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah, I just got these. Someone gave these to me. These are like, yeah, the they LeBron. Yeah, yeah. Stuff. no yeah. doubt. There'd be so many of these because mm. they would have been all the Olympic stuff would have been underway in um, 
Yeah, for sure. Yeah, well, definitely. Uh, we could have got a new pair of James Harden. No, no. I'm joking. I'm joking. Still trash. They're oh, still trash. God. The Hardens are still rubbish, and the Lillards are still. And the Mitchells. No I'm so reason. Uh, I know. There's no compelling I, reason to go away from the swoosh, unfortunately. It's a bit disappointing. I had a pair of the Mitchells in one of my checkout baskets on one of my sites. The colorway is terrible. The only reason I want to buy them is because they're Donovan Mitchells, right? Yeah. And I just end up didn't buy them because it's terrible. They're terrible colorway, terrible construction. Yeah. I like the idea of them, but they're just shit delivery, in, right? Even yeah. the Hardens, it's shit delivery. They could be so. No, in principle. And then, but. Uh, on the other hand, um, the Kawhis are actually um, a really good sneaker, and now they're moving into the, uh, like the new them. Kawhis. Yep, the first Kawhi actually didn't look too bad. No, and what about the uh, Freaks? Have you seen the new Freaks? What is yes. your – because you like the original one, so what do you I think did. about we the new had a chat, uh, Nick Mentalinos and I had a chat about these on Monday, spilling the kicks, the Greek yeah. boy. Um, I like them. I think yeah. they're okay. It's actually a good move for him. It gives him a bit more structure. You know, his first signature shoe was really plain. That first one. Yeah, yeah. Was... But, and he made a good point about it. What was good with that was it lent itself to really good colorway because it was not complicated, right? Like, yeah, you know, we yeah, talk about right. this. You throw this with some colorway and it looks terrible. Right? Yeah, yeah. But those, because it was really flat paneling and that customization of the first Giannis, what did they have? They had the bloody McDowell version. They had the Greek oh, version. Yeah. They got whatever version you want, right? And I like that they've actually gone a bit more with the signature shoe. And I don't think it's that expensive. I think it was 100 and I think we said it was about 120, 130 US they're going to go for. So about 180. Yeah. And that's part point. of the, yeah, the methodology that they have with that's him and, and Kyrie and everything that they're trying to keep the shoes yeah. around 100 US. So they should good be point. sub 200 again. And, um, yeah, you know, good it makes it a little bit more attainable for the high school aged athletes. You know what is cool is the uh, all the apparel that comes with them. Get out, oh, check really? out the stuff. Uh, yeah, it's really good stuff. That's because Nick said that, and I went and had a look, and that's that's cool. That's stuff you need to get. I like that more than I like the shoe. That, see, that's the funny thing, eh? Like, and I know that you're in exactly the same boat as me. You'd happily buy a pair of shoes for like 150, 200 bucks, yep. but then if the matching jacket was 110 bucks, you'd be like, man, no yeah. <laughs> like unless until it's on like full sale and it's like on a yeah. clearance or whatever you're like nah no way yeah. and then by the time clearance comes around they're only in small versions and shit so it's um yeah, it's that's, weird, a, eh? that's a good chat too that's one we should have mm -hmm. another day when a site comes up and goes hey we've got royal toe you're like sweet you go on size four and a half yeah or size six you're like Fucking really it's, it's, yeah. so many sites are doing that now i've noticed like those Remember when I picked up those Jordan ones recently? They've still got they've still got a few of those for sale, right? But you go on yeah. size eight and size seven. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. It's I've I've all but given up uh, with uh, Nike dot com. Apparently, through one of my uh, good friends there and uh, shoe uh, shoe collector on Instagram, who's um, really quite good, and he suggested, uh, and I can't shout him out because I can't remember what his handle is, but he suggested that. Um, Adidas have like a lottery thing. So if a, which is the way they should do it instead of the stupid yep. system now, which is, you know, you just say, yes, I'm interested in the shoe. If it becomes available in 12, here is my credit card details and so on. And then when the release happens, they jumble it all up and say, right, these guys are getting shoes and the rest of you better luck next time. Yep. It's just an expression of interest. No having to wait up till midnight. No worrying about your internet. Is my internet working? Is the internet working? Go stop downloading. Who's downloading the game? Yeah. You know, I can't like, get on. What's going on? Yeah. Get on, get on. Because like it's, Ben it's and Jerry. Line, right? that's, yeah. that's what we've done. It's a, virtual, it's a virtual line now. It's not the line out the front of the shop. No. It's a virtual, and it's actually worse because the one at the front of the shop, at least you had a chance. Now, because yep. you're in this worldwide queue, you fucking no chance. No chance. And any time they release something like Dunks, like the Ben and Jerry's or yes. like the Jordans the other day, it crashes it. So, it, you know, oh, it's coming soon. And then by the time you refresh it, it says it's sold out. And you're like, when did that happen? So, <laughs> But yeah. it's like the Grateful Dead ones. That's another one, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that, no chance. None. There's, I, um, the guy we spoke to last week, Nick, um, was it Nick Diamond? Yep. I'm going to call him Nick Diamonds. Shit, that's probably bad. So, um, <laughs> Tony, Tony Diamonds. Jesus, it's been a, it's been a long day already. Um, Tony had got a pair of the Ben and Jerry's. I think I showed you. They're phenomenal. They actually look, 
the hype has screwed them up because they're actually a really cool looking shoe, right? Yeah, it just yeah. The hype is just done, and he he previewed, and we we shared it the other day. He previewed a pair of the green Grateful Dead's. He's got a pair yeah, of those. Right. Oh, they're awesome too. But he's a collector, and we're going to get him back on because I want to ask him how he keeps to getting all these. Right. Well, he's not he's gonna well, you can ask him. He ain't going to tell you. That's the no, damn show. He was telling me he got it from the skate shop down the road. So I don't know if that's a, uh, hey, we yeah. hold him off to him. But his stuff is really good too. You should check out the way he does Um, he does the sort of review of them. Like he has yeah. a really good insight. It's a really good YouTube watch. It's well, well worth it. Producer yeah. Max is in, in awe of it. He's the other, person, the other person who's joined us today. Thanks, Maxie. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for the support, Max. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Joel, for the support too. He'll never hear this. He'll never hear this. So we're good. He was here. At, yeah, he was here at twelve thirty. It's all right. Yeah, I, know. I was here at twelve. Where the hell were you? No. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Thanks a heap. I'm yeah. so sorry about no that. That's all next right. We'll week, pick I it up next I'll week. I'll be on time next week. Yeah, me too. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Jeff. Right, I'll man. see you soon. See ya. Take Ciao. care. Bye. All right. That was Lukey on spilling the kicks for a Thursday. Um, Luke had some really good fire stuff. We did grapes. We did some Jordan 1s. We did some Prestos. Don't sleep on the Prestos. They're actually a really nice pair of shoes if you want to jump on those. Uh, I did the Jordan 270s, the Mars Jordans, uh, collaboration stuff. With, you know, we know Mars. We know who it is. We know Spike. We know all that shit. Uh, like I've said a couple of times, my favorite bit is the really cool-looking uh, jump man. I was going to say swoosh. Um, so it's a four, I call these the four and a half. They do look a bit four-ish, a bit five-ish. But yeah, these are not too bad. Get them at the right price. Hey, that's Spelling the Kicks for Thursday. I will be back with the free stuff kicks tomorrow. It may not be free. See you, folks.